oven, almost 12 right now, and it is lunchtime. I wanted to start this uh, vlog in the morning, but I woke up a little late today, um, and I was extra groggy than usual so i like completely forgot that i wanted to start my new vlog today so i completely forgot to film myself in the morning in this intro so this is my introduction now i wanted to uh start vlog series i guess um because i am now a dental student and this is already um my third week of dental school and it's been really fun it hasn't gotten extremely busy just yet but it's slowly picking up pace and our midterm is already next week the typical schedule is like i go to school i wake up around seven i walk to school and i get there by eight and i have classes until 12 and i come back home for lunch and then i have to go back by one um, for my second class and that second class usually ends around three or four um, depends on the day that looks like a pool of blood but I swear that's racha and this is cut up really weird but this is a Chinese green onion pancake and this is my fried rice do a little taste test mm. I like it I think traditionally you're supposed to eat this with um, chili oil but I don't have that so I just am eating it with sriracha the human side of things okay so uh, you know me I'm all about um, reminders during my online class I accidentally fell asleep but luckily I had my camera off and you're allowed to have your camera off which is fortunate for me because you know we, we got out of class a little early I thought I would um, try to make kaimak. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know if it's kaimak or kaimak, but it's basically this Turkish milk cream um, dessert thingy. I've tried it once in Korea, but I didn't have like too much of it. So I really wanted to make it. And there's this recipe that I found and I'll be able to eat it either like later today or tomorrow. Let's go. because my groceries just came. Oh, the first thing I got was this huge watermelon. I've been obsessed with watermelon these days. I think I've been having at least one whole watermelon a week. This is my third time ordering it. I also got three small avocados and I also got mangoes, which is the other fruit that I've been obsessed with lately. These are extremely unripe, um, so I have to ripen them a bit. So I'm gonna leave it outside. This is like my ripening station cream sauce basic the consistency i think is correct no it's stuck to the pan you're supposed to like be able to roll it it doesn't roll no for my first try it still looks pretty legit i would say it's like I'm eating fluffy, creamy milk clouds. I am currently toasting up some bread so I could eat it with my newly made kaimak which is sitting in the fridge I'm so excited and I also have honey because kaimak itself is not very sweet so I'm gonna put honey with it too That's pretty good Guys, 
I cleaned the house a little bit, did the dishes, took out the trash, and I washed up a little bit because I was a little sweaty. Ooh. Today was mostly like a review day because our midterm exam is next Monday. So today was just a lot of practice and our midterm exam is divided into three parts. We have the written exam, we have tooth identification, and we have waxing where we actually have to make the teeth. I brought some practice teeth with me. We are all given a set of practice teeth, both permanent teeth as well as the primary teeth or baby teeth. So I'm gonna study with these tonight. Mostly did tooth identification practice so we get like a box of like teeth that are not labeled by their proper like you know numbering and we have to guess what number it is and it was just really frustrating because I was off by like one or two um, so I was like super close all the time I would always mess up like left and right or like mandibular and maxillary it's not exactly like really like extremely difficult but it's really confusing and we don't have a lot of time to identify it the teeth that we practice during class they're like extracted ones and it's harder to identify because you know not every tooth is gonna look the same some of them are going to be more worn down and such so it's like good practice because it's harder to identify got back from school and this is usually the time when I'm like the laziest because I'm like fatigued from school and it's like before dinner so I thought instead of just wasting time I would work out now so that I have some more time to study later in the evening so I'm kind of forcing myself to study but you know if you want to change your patterns change your habits the first few days you gotta kind of force yourself <laughs> let's go Look how perfect the avocados are. I'm actually so refreshed after that workout. That actually felt so good. Y'all are probably so bored of my salad recipe because I put in the same thing over again, but I do try to incorporate like new ingredients. When I eat salad, I literally eat like a goat. So please excuse my behavior. mind my ginormous pile of laundry back there i've been making my coffees lately with this like compressed compression espresso making thing it's made of plastic so i thought it'd be pretty cheap i thought it'd be like 20 30 dollars but it was like almost 65 dollars ish i saw it i'm like i'm gonna buy this for sure and i saw it i'm like oh, i'm just gonna stick to my you know $10 mocha pot and I put it down and then my cousin saw me panicking and then putting it down like quietly So he bought it for me in Korea and it was so touching and I've been using it so frequently and so well ever since Yeah, me too. Time to get that free massage. Yeah. I want to wait until I'm taking the 
told me, right? I told you. Today was such a long day. We had four hours of orientation. Oop. And I just didn't come back home. I just had lunch there like you saw. So I think this is the longest I've been away from my home in a while. So I'm like extremely tired. I'm not that hungry, so I don't think I'm gonna eat. I'm just gonna wash up and just chill because I am exhausted right now. But tomorrow I'm gonna study with my friends again in the library. And we're also gonna go to the simulation lab for more tooth practice. And then we're also gonna meet up someday in the library as well. So we still have two full days of studying. This is my last bit of Kaimok, so I'm kind of sad, but I'm definitely gonna have to make more Kaimok. This is too bad. But now I'm back home to eat lunch and you know nourish myself before the rest of the day. Um, so I just made a small salad and I'm making I'm heating up some green onion pancakes, Taiwanese green onion pancakes. And I just wanted to say today, like when after my exam, when I was walking home, it started raining a little bit and it got super gloomy all of a sudden. Oh, there's a hummingbird! Oh my goodness! I've never seen a hummingbird in real life, in the wild. That was so pretty, it was like blue and green. What the heck? I went off topic, but it got really gloomy all of a sudden and the clouds started like, you know, thickening I guess and darkening. And it started drizzling a little bit when I was walking and I'm like, mm, now I'm finally getting the taste of what Oregon, oh. I'm finally getting the taste of what Oregon actually is because I came during the summer and during like the summer months from like June to like late September-ish, it's really sunny. But the rest of the year is just all cloudy and gloomy and it's depressing and I'm like, hmm, I wonder if, you know, I wonder what that looks like. I wonder if I'll be fine. I wonder if seasonal depression is a thing for me. And today is like the first day where it's like, all gloomy and drizzly and yeah cloudy so i'm finally seeing what true oregon looks like in the rest of the year i'm a huge advocate for like finding small joys in life that's not too expensive or like too elaborate just like little simple activities or 
things that like, you know, spark a little bit of joy and inspiration. And for me lately, it's been making like these little desserts that are relatively easy. So, cause I don't have, a, you know, that much time. Last week it was um, the Kaimak and now it's the coconut dessert. I don't know what to make next. A few days after my midterm exam was over, my sister decided to come visit me all the way from Texas with her friend. So they came for about two days and I had to be their tour guide, of course. On the first day, we decided to go to the farmer's market at PSU, which is the biggest farmer's market in all of Oregon. So our goal was to try as much food as possible. So we got a little bit um, from each vendor. So we got pierogies, we got breakfast burritos, we got a pork steamed bun, we got lavender latte, and for dessert, we got a lemon tart and a milk tea cake. So we came back from the farmer's market and now we're at downtown. Shopping time! This woman is racist. <laughs> She's discriminating against flowers based on their looks. <laughs> Caught red handed. We came to my building. This room has all of the lockers. The lockers are so cool. <laughs> 여기 아무도 못 들어온다 원래. 내 라커. 진짜로 에피션트하지 않은 <웃음> 시스템이야. 맞아 여기야. 어디 가시나요? 어디 가세요? 좋긴 좋죠. 그, 어 여기가 내 네, 이제 들어간 빌딩. I don't know what the name of this bridge is, but. We're on this bridge. That's our school. <laughs> you do feel landlocked in Texas. Oh, it's really good. We got umeno onigiri, kochicha brownie, matcha brownie, and then what did you guys get? Mayo salmon. Mayo salmon onigiri. And we got three hojicha lattes. Okay, we're at the bus station now to the rose garden. And right next to the bus station is this like katsu sandwich place. We got it to go so we could eat it at the rose garden. Are you excited? Yeah. 뒤에도 예쁘다. The 뒤에 the building in the back. Rose garden is here. The sandwich is so freaking good, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. 
bye to who? I said hi. No, you just said bye bye. I said hi guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did you hear? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> huh? Bye bye. So we're going to the Perak Mansion now after Rose Garden. How was it? I mean, what, what, what would you review out of a 10? Seven. Seven? Disappointing. <laughs> I have failed as a garden guide. <laughs> and then now we're going to the mansion where the nice viewpoint is. How excited are you guys out of 10? Five. Okay, okay. Better than a seven, actually. No, worse than a seven. Yeah. <laughs> I just have no expectations. Okay, keep your expectations low and your hopes high. What? Is that what it is? No. But we're at the Pitot Mansion now. Look how magnificent this building looks. Beautiful. Now we're on our way to the viewpoint. 